Good morning friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options and this is the Morning Market Prep video for September 21st, 2023. Well, my goodness sakes, yesterday was a little bit rough for the market. Big whipsaw. I had mentioned the possibility of a whipsaw, not that I knew that was going to happen, but my goodness did we get quite a whipsaw and unfortunately we created some significant technical damage in some of the charts. So what does that mean for today? Well, how about we settle in? Let's buckle up. Let's get ready for the Thursday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Good morning once again, everyone, and thank you so much for being here this morning. I do truly appreciate it. Thank you for all the kind comments and support um, of the channel. I always appreciate that. Let's take a look at these charts and see if we can figure out how we might want to approach the market for today. Well, as you can see here, uh, folks, everyone, um, all of our my major uh, lines in here have turned red. And the reason that is the case, if you'll take a look, is we actually rallied up, tested these levels as resistance and resistance held. And we see those continuing to show that failure here. I'm gonna grab this one and extend it out a little bit now. Um, obviously, pretty uncomfortable situation here for the market. Um, the diamonds being the, the last of the indexes to give up their trend here and failing at a pretty substantial resistance level here in the chart as you can see creating um, so a little bit of technical damage now the good news here on the diamonds is as of the close of yesterday we didn't take out tuesday's low so we were able to hold above that this morning however it looks like we're going to gap down and maybe take that out here all at once here in the pre-market we've got those bears pushing pretty hard this morning so keep a close eye on that now if the bears were to maintain the energy today as you can see i've got a line right down in here and if i pull this back across you can see this is a very substantial level of price support in the chart so it really wouldn't be all that much of a surprise if we're testing down into this level um, of that price support and if um, we were to push any further you can see we have these tails right here in the chart we could go just a little bit further down into this area of the chart so the bears keep pushing that's where i'm going to suggest they go if the bulls however find some inspiration in some of the data today well then i would suggest we're going to come back up here and we're going to test these resistance levels in the chart bouncing back up into here um, just simply sets up um, a, an opportunity for another short if that were to occur but watch that closely here if they can really get going there if they can break through these levels well everything shifts back to the upside if we can push maybe push up and test yesterday's high breaking through those levels that would be quite a reversal uh, but certainly not something that would be odd we see that a lot nowadays it's it's an all-or-nothing market so watch that carefully here I'm suggesting we're likely going to test some support levels here on the chart clearly this 50-day moving average break um, is continuing to hold and what that means um, you know once we fail around a 50-day moving average there's a high probability we move down to test the 200-day moving average in the chart so watch for that possibility now the way I drew that don't expect that to be a straight line it can be but we could continue along this choppy range in here where we bounce up and then come down into that area of the chart let's take a look at our QQQ or excuse me our spy unfortunately um, S&P 500 we ended up with some technical damage here yesterday bearish engulfing candle took out uh, tuesday's low all in one fell swoop you can see we have failed this wedging pattern 
we failed at price resistance here in the chart and uh, consequently moving on down to text, test the next levels of support. Now I've got that next level here, but you can see already in the pre-market we're pushing uh, possibly beyond that. So if the bears were to continue to find inspiration today, I'm going to suggest somewhere down in this area of the chart would be that next level. And if that doesn't hold, uh, we could come um, all the way down into here fairly easily. And that would make a new low here in the SPY. If we lose this support, that makes that new low and would likely increase the level of fear here in the market. Now, keeping in mind all of, our, all of these um, lines that I had in here have turned red. So we are um, in a fairly bearish situation here on the SPY. Um, obviously failing at the 50 day moving average moving down and we run that risk if we do break this level right in here in the chart, we run that risk that we really could be heading back for a test of that 200 day moving average in the chart. If we take a look at our QQQ, QQQ also big old whipsaw yesterday also creating technical damage failing as you can see at this um, uh, trend re um, level in the chart we found that reversed came on down pretty hard yesterday and we took out this next level well it looks like not at that not at the close yesterday we're holding right there but here in the pre-market where it looks like we're going to take out this next level of price support which likely sends us into a level somewhere down in here as you can see so that runs us into a situation where we could be testing um, our recent lows here of august and if that were to fail then of course um, that's a problem for us here we could move on lower um, good chance that we get some kind of a bounce before then but we'll want to be keeping in mind that failing here at the 200 day moving average and taking out this support if that were to occur taking out this support really puts us in a situation where any rally back uh, we'd probably be looking for failure somewhere along the downtrend in here and that possibility that we could be moving back to the 200 day moving average in the chart a hold in here would be great a hold in here for the bulls if that's what you're um, um, hoping for that's what you really need to have your fingers crossed and and be hoping and praying that we're going to hold that level because if we don't um, it could get ugly here uh, for a period of time um, if we take a look at IWM IWM um, pretty substantial technical break here but this hasn't been a healthy chart for some time um, as I've been continuing to mention we've had a big head and shoulders pattern stuck inside a small head and shoulders or a small head and shoulders pattern stuck inside a big head and shoulders pattern and um, obviously the pressure here has been pretty substantial we failed our 50-day moving average up here certainly no um, no change here um, in this chart um, as we continue to move lower breaking to the downside and held yesterday just above this level of price support at the close but you can see uh, this morning we could be gapping uh, through that level um, in the chart which means um, next levels of price support um, start running quite a bit lower in here uh, to find some of those levels in there um, chart so we've got we've got some 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 bad news here on IWM and of course we're well below our 50 day moving average now failing our 50 uh, or 200 day so any rally back um, sets up that next opportunity for a short uh, to the let's take a look at our VIX our VIX brought in a little bit of fear yesterday but honestly not as much as I would have expected with the technical damage that we have here on the chart but unfortunately we have this downtrend break now and we did kind of hold on to that downtrend break with that uh, that test yesterday but I don't think this is really terrible yet the again it will be um, it'll be a higher low in here typically that bring really brings the fear 
um, into the market. So far, I don't see that here, but there certainly is a reason for some concern, a little bit of worry here in the VIX. If we take a look at our T2122, our T2122, boy, the whipsaw in here was pretty substantial at one point in time. Um, yesterday, we were all the way up here in our T2122. We'd stretched really hard in that, uh, in that pump up um, heading into the FOMC, and then they whipped it right back out um, in a pretty rough way. And now, as you can see, back down here, we are showing a hook. So if, um, if, you, if we can get some good data today, this might give us that little bit of clue that we could find little support along this area. And if the data is good, we certainly have room for an upside move to bounce back up. If the bears find inspiration, of course, we still have plenty of opportunity um, on that bearish inspiration to reach us down here into that bearish, or excuse me, bullish reversal zone and uh, perhaps even linger down there for a while as we wait for the next round of earnings. But if that, those bulls can find something to grab a hold of, we certainly have plenty of upside opportunity in our T2122. Let's take a look at uh, T2108. Our T2108 moving back lower here yesterday, uh, just short of 30% of the stocks holding above their 40 day moving average. But the good news here, if there is good news, is that we didn't break those lows just yet. However, I think that's in the cards this morning at the open, that chance that we're going to break those levels and maybe we start coming down and testing some of these areas of the chart and maybe reaching that oversold condition here in the market. So watch carefully there. If the bulls were to find inspiration, we'll start looking for these levels the chart to see if we can make it back through to the upside. If we take a look at our T2107, T2107, obviously um, been talking about this head and shoulders pattern in here and we pulled back, but we're just resting right there on that support. So as of yesterday, we're still hanging in there and holding on to this head and shoulders uh, neckline, but I think the pre-market is probably suggesting we're going to break that here this morning. So watch that carefully. We'll start looking at some of these levels down in here to see if we can hold um, them in the T2107. About 43% of the stocks right now above their 200 day. And um, I, I suspect that'll be a um, little bit different here right at the open if if this bearish price action holds through the morning. Um, let's take a look at uh, T2101. Now T2101 pulling back, as you can see that mark of breadth continuing to decline here in the chart where um, I, I think that blackout period is really having a, a major effect here on the markets. Um, uh, big companies are unable to do buybacks and those kind of things, uh, which has been a big portion of our market volume here lately. So watch that carefully as we push back. We're running into some levels here in the chart of um, breadth that are very, very low. Now, one of the things we could see if the bears really engage hard today, we start breaking some of these levels, we can actually see that breadth increasing on the sell wave. So uh, keep a close eye on that if that were to occur. Then let's take a look at our economic calendar here for today. Our economic calendar, we've got kind of a busy one here this morning um, to be paying attention to. We're going to get jobless claims and as you know jobless claim, claims have been really problematic for us where where we've seen good numbers here in the jobless claims which turns out to be bad news for the market uh, because we're not getting the results that the FOMC would like to uh, would like to uh, look at um, they want to see those claims going up they want to see some fear starting to happen uh, for folks um, in their jobs and um, that slows down this wage price spiral that we're starting to see uh, continuing to drive inflation so keep an eye on that if this number comes in um, strong that could be a problem for the fed if we uh, it could be a problem for the market as well 
if this number comes in higher than expected, then then we might see um, a little bit of bullishness coming into the market if all of a sudden a lot more folks are um, looking for jobs. Now, keeping in mind, it's looking at somewhere around like 225, 226, so very low uh, numbers that they're expecting in consensus. We've got um, uh, Philly Fed uh, manufacturing. They are expecting that number to decline some, which would uh, normally be very bearish um, in the market as uh as our manufacturing declines but what we have seen in the last year nobody cares about manufacturing at all the, the manufacturing numbers have been abysmal nobody cares we've been continuing to pump the market to the upside uh, we've got current account numbers current account is looking for uh, a, a a bigger negative number in in current account so um, that is obviously a little bit bearish but it's not one of those reports that normally moves the market substantially and then of course existing home sales so keep an eye on that leading indicators natural gas report we've got a couple of bond auctions in here to think about and then a fed balance sheet at the end of the day which we probably won't pay much attention to as we move into friday keep in mind we've got a pmi report that we'll want to be thinking about and then guess what we're going to start back in to Fed talk. Oh boy, here come the Fed members. They're out of their blackout period now and they're going to start yakking it up big time. So watch that. Let's take a look at our um, earnings calendar here for today. And unfortunately, guys, there's not much to provide inspiration here today. I've only got two notables. Uh, to be paying attention to. We're going to hear from a Darden today. Looks like Darden has already gapped a little bit lower on its earnings report. So watch that area in here. We've got a little price support in that area. So perhaps we'll get a pop and draw. I mean, a gap down and then a rally back up here. Watch that downtrend here, though. Obviously, pretty bearish in that chart. And the only other one was FDS. FDS. Um, reporting today so watch that closely i don't see any activity in that just yet um, obviously this could be very critical here on fds whether it's going to kind of break this little downtrend and start moving back up or if we lose this price support in here to the downside yesterday we saw kind of a mix uh, kbh yesterday uh, after the bell reported a little bit of bearishness in there on the kbh report pushing back down here uh, looks like it's going to continue to follow this downtrend got a little teeny tiny head and shoulders type pattern in here watch that area in here on that neckline if that were to push on lower maybe some of those home builders will start uh, fading just a little bit not only that we have this giant head and shoulders pattern in here that is definitely not a, a bullish looking pattern if we take a look at um, fedex however fedex had a really good report yesterday popping to the upside breaking this down trend in one fell swoop so maybe we've got some hope here that consumers are continuing to spend really uh, strongly um, in here if FedEx is seeing that kind of great result in their shipping. So watch that one close. That was after the bell yesterday. Let's take a look at a few stocks that could be setting up for today. But before we do that, guys, if you could do me this quick favor, if if this is the first time you've seen these videos, if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube. Also click that bell icon when it pops up so you'll be notified every time I post a video. And if you find these videos to be useful or helpful, please do me that favor. Click those thumbs up buttons leave a brief comment that helps the channel to continue to grow thank you so much for everyone who ha um, has been doing that uh, the numbers have been coming up on that so thank you the engagement with the channel um, is what is probably more important than anything else um, it, it allows YouTube to then say oh, people are interested in this content and we'll show this to more folks so thank you very much also thank you to everyone who's willing to share these videos out on their social media feed that helps us 
find new folks uh, that might be interested in the content. So thank you very, very much. I truly, truly appreciate it. Um, let's take a look at some of these stocks setting up. Remember guys, these aren't recommendations to buy or sell any security. You're gonna have to do your own due diligence. Be very, very careful here in this market. Whipsaws are prevalent here. Big daily point moves are prevalent and a lot of emotion in the market right now. So just be really careful and cautious. Don't over trade and make sure that every trade that you decide fits your risk tolerance and your, follows your trade rules. Let's take a look here, a few charts that you might want to be keeping a close eye on. As you guys remember, I've been talking about that this KHC, and although we have that bearishness here in the market, this inverted head and shoulders pattern is still holding up. Now, one of the things you want to be watching for, if we're starting to get some uncertainty about uh, big tech, um, um, in the market, you'll often see a rotation to um, some of these defensive sector stocks. You know, we know Kraft Heinz is probably not going to go away. It certainly hasn't been very bullish here for some time, but it could attract some support. Um, and you can see we've got a little higher low starting to happen in here. If we break that resistance in the chart, that will look even better. But one of the reasons we'll see that rotation is institutions may be looking for a little bit of protection and safety. And you can come over here and you can get some dividend yields in things like KHC. Another one, um, as you know, um, I've got a bias on this because I did pick up a position in here, um, AT&T. And although we had that ugliness happening in the market yesterday you can see AT&T moving to the upside kind of stretching um, out in this trend we are running into some price resistance in here so don't be too surprised if this now rests consolidates pulls back something like that in the chart um, but AT&T has been looking good and we're starting to see some of these really heavily beaten down stocks starting to look a little bit better starting to come back around now we had some some moves in um, some of the ag related things yesterday when we started to see the dollar fall just a little bit and we started to pop up here um, egg uh, CF mosaic um, Archer Daniels we're all trying to get a little bit going but then we saw after the FOMC we saw that dollar surge right back up and the and I think there's a chance that it could continue to move higher here because we've already got our bond moving higher here today as a matter of fact the two-year bond is um, at uh, uh, five five point one five this morning um, at the moment so we're seeing those bond yields um, moving to the upside showing that pressure here in the market so we certainly could see that moving higher now if there is some good news with the dollar moving higher even though we had our petroleum numbers yesterday showing us a decline in supplies we really started to see um, some pullback on some of these energy stocks um, relieving some of that pressure here but because we saw those declines in supplies yesterday in the petroleum status number, that may not last very long. And if the dollar starts to um, uh, you know, flatten out or weaken just a little bit, I would expect to see some of these pullbacks in some of the energy stocks moving back to the upside um, because of those declines in supply. So watch that close. About the only thing that could make these move on lower is if we start to see some true impacts to the consumer and consumers changing their habits and saying like we can't travel we can't do these things we can't afford it and um, then we start to see the demand destruction and that would help improve some of those energy prices but right now we're seeing analysts pointing to hundred dollar barrel um, uh, levels in um, in these oil uh, markets so um, yeah, um, a lot of pressure here in that sector, so keep an eye on it. That said, um, um, 
you can take a look at some stocks like Schlumberger, although it did it has pulled back the last couple of days. That's still a relatively bullish chart. I would watch that carefully if um, suddenly this um, gets some pressure back to the upside. A lot of the refiners still looking pretty good overall, so keep an eye on those. Um, other places that if you're looking for some bullishness, I was really surprised um, IWM, um, not IWM, IBM, had a really good day yesterday popping through this resistance. Big move and then it did not really pull back. We pulled back from the high. You can see we tested some levels up here in the chart but now we've broken through this major resistance level in the chart on IBM. Um, so keep an eye on this. Of course um, AI has some potential here so watch that carefully if that can hold maybe some upside opportunity coming in there and another one that is actually kind of surprising considering the strength of the consumer is just how strong Walmart is holding in here um, so watch that carefully we've broken through these highs we're at all time highs here in Walmart um, that resting consolidation that we're starting to see in here sliding back towards support and trend I'd watch for the next opportunity in that chart for some upside moves. On the downside, there are a plethora of ideas for potential downside, but I'm running out of time here this morning. So I'm gonna cut this off. I wanna wish you all a fantastic day. I wanna wish you great results in your trading. Thank you so much for listening and being here. Thank you so much for supporting the channel. I do truly appreciate it. I'll see you right back here bright and early Friday morning. Be careful, be safe. And as always, I wish you guys all the best. Take care.